Today's case is going to be very graphic, so I want to warn viewers ahead of time that viewer discretion is advised. I'd also like to state that this case hasn't gone to trial yet, so all accused are presumed innocent until proven guilty. But before we get started, welcome to True Crime with Maneater. If you love all things true crime, including missing person cases, cold cases, and just the strange happenings of the world, you've come to the right place. Be sure to subscribe and turn on alerts so you never miss a video upload. Let's get started. Lacey Fletcher was a 36-year-old woman who was found fused to her couch. And yes, I said that right. She was literally fused to her couch. Her parents have actually been charged with second degree murder and were released on bond in what they call a shocking case of acute medical neglect. The couple, Shayla and her husband, Clay, were released on a $300,000 bond. They're 64 and they both face second degree murder charges, which is the highest that they can be charged in a case like this. So I'm going to get into some of the details that have been released. And again, they're really graphic and disturbing. So viewer discretion is advised from this point forward. There's also some crime scene photos that are really important to share so I'll be sharing those so please proceed with caution. When Lacey Fletcher was found, again she's a 36 year old woman. She weighed less than a hundred pounds. She was being starved. She was found on this ratty couch that was covered in urine and feces. And she was also found covered in maggots. She had sores all over her body and was literally melted into the couch. The coroner who was handling this case, he said that the photographs from the crime scene were so disturbing that medical personnel were on standby as the evidence was presented to the grand jury. So from what I can find, the cause of death stems from quite a few things. Chronic malnutrition, acute starvation, immobility, acute ulcer formation, and a bone infection, which finally led to sepsis. Her parents had claimed that she suffered from a rare neurological condition called locked-in syndrome, which is basically a condition where a patient is aware that they can't move or even communicate due to basically paralysis. Of course, there's no record of this being the case. She was never diagnosed with this. The only diagnosis that Lacey did have was social anxiety and severe autism. And the last time Lacey was even taken to a doctor was when she was about 16 years old. And the Fletchers actually were adamant that she was of sound mind and body, that she could take care of herself, which makes absolutely no sense. This poor woman sat on a couch and fused into it while she was basically starving to death. She obviously couldn't take care of herself and they didn't care to take care of her. Lacey's mother also said that Lacey never complained about the sores and that once in a while she'd clean them up and everything was fine. Couple's attorney released a statement that said, they don't want to relive the pain of losing a child through the media. They have been through a lot of heartache over the years. Anyone who has lost a child knows what it's like. I am just flabbergasted by this statement. This poor woman that in her own filth and slowly died. She didn't leave that couch for 12 years. They clearly have no feelings of heartache about their child's death. If they did, they wouldn't have let her sit on a couch for 12 years and slowly die. And I am so angry about this case and I'm so frustrated that this poor woman is dead because her parents failed her and a system failed her. This case is just truly heartbreaking and I absolutely plan to keep up with it once it goes to trial and all of that. So make sure you come back around and check for that video update because it'll be here. I read about this case and I was just so disturbed um, and so heartbroken that I wanted to report about it right away. But that's it for today guys. If you like this video or any other video on my channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on alerts so you never miss a video upload. See you next time.